hey guys hey what is up so i've been so eager to come to you guys to get my youtube channel back popping and to talk to you guys um and just figuring out what i wanted to do so i'm back fox has helped me kind of figure out what i needed to do so i shared over on my facebook group but if you don't follow me on facebook it's shalonda nikki felder on facebook you're gonna have to follow me because i've reached my max of friends sorry but I want to talk about this new show called Our Kind of People. So let me tell you, I ain't taking a whole bunch of notes, but I'm going to try to do better as the episodes go on. There's only three so far, but I want to review them episode by episode. So the first one, like I said, is a Fox show. Um, it comes on Tuesday nights at 9 p.m. The first episode was called Reparations. Girl... So my girl Yaya from America's Next Top Model is on there. She plays a character called Angela Vaughn. I'm going to do better at remembering all the names too, but you'll remember the people from my references. So they got Quincy Mama on there for Love and Basketball. Mm -hmm. There's Calvin from um, House of Pain, Lance Gross, I think it is. But again, I don't know all the names. That's why I say Quincy Mama. Morris Chestnut is on there. Olivia Pope Daddy from Scandal is on there with his sinister behind. Um, Morris Chestnut's wife, her name is Leah on the show. Gotta get her name as well. I trust me, as we go through the episodes, I get better with the names and taking notes. But this show is amazing. If y'all are not watching it, y'all need to go ahead, catch the replay on Hulu, um, Fox, on demand, Spectrum apps, wherever you can get it. I'm in Florida, so, you know, there's quite a different couple of ways we can get it. And y'all know how to get it too. But y'all have to tune into this show. Um, the culture, it's the culture for me, it's the outfits for me, it's the hair, as you guys can tell, you know, I'm a hairstylist, um, by trade, I also, um, I'm into accessories as well, this show gives me all of those, so if you're a person like me and those are the things that you like, you are going to love this show, um, just a quick synopsis of it, basically, um, Angela, Yaya, is a single mother and her her daughter nikki <laughs> her daughter nikki they're moving from um or oh, where was it from boston down to what's called oak bluffs which is um i want to say it's a fictional place i've never heard of it but i'm thinking it's supposed to be somewhere based off a place um off of martha's vineyard right so they're moving to like a ritzy type place from um their boston upbringing she's moving there because her mother just passed and her mother wanted her last wishes was for her ashes to be spread in this town that she used to stay in not only that she's left Angela a um a salon that she used to own for her to come in because of course she showed her daughter how to make her homemade hair conditioners and how to really take care of black hair so it's centered around business as well which I absolutely love it if you're into business you're going to love 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 the show um, I'm always for the underdog. So again, I loved this show. Absolutely loved it. Um, so it's it, baby, it has scandal all wrapped up in it. Um, um, that whole elitist class, um, of, you know, having the, that society where it's, it's hard to get into if you're not married into it. Um, if your family was not grandfathered into it. So Angela finds her way trying to make it into this society immediately entering, um, this city that her mother grew up in and, um, eventually moved away from, essentially moved away from, and she was far removed from it. So as she's coming in off rip, she's immediately trying to enter this society they are not wanting her in there honey they don't want no parts of who is this outside woman coming over here trying to get into our sisterhood into our groups so immediately off back episode one she's already getting pushed back Oh, I forgot to tell y'all, girl, Niecy from Being Mary Jane, she's in this as well. Um, she plays a good friend to Yaya, a.k.a. Angela Vaughn, and she is the one to help partner that bridge in between getting her into this society that she wants to be in. Um, she's trying to help, but even her, she's like, already? Friend. <laughs> She's trying, but Yaya is that friend. She's very persistent. She's very resilient, and she wants to get in to what is going on. She wants to be in. She's ready to, you know, start her mother's memory. She's ready to reclaim her family name, to clean up her family name um, in this city with little or no knowledge as to what happened to her mother in this city, and that's going to be the recurring theme, it seems like, in the episodes is that she's trying to figure out what happened 
happened to her mother. I will say that, you know, I think it did say in episode one, um, she saw her father, but she never knew who he was. So that's part of the storyline as well. Um, and figuring out what happened to her mother, like what happened that they ended up, you know, in Boston and not here. And, you know, her not even knowing that her mom owned property there until after her passing. Um, we come to find out um, during the episode that her daughter was in private school in Boston and she was essentially kicked out um, due to like a fight. So that's another reason why they were moving there. Just a fresh start, trying to start all over. There's some spark with Yaya and Lance and baby, let me tell you, I don't know if Lance, Lance, Calvin, whoever, I don't know if he is married in real life or what, but baby, I can feel the energy, the chemistry in between him and Yaya. So I don't know. I ain't putting nothing on them people. But what I will say is, baby, they doing some good, some good, good acting because I felt it. Again, if y'all are not watching this shows, you guys are missing out on an amazing, amazing um, um, scripted TV show on TV. I absolutely love, love, love this show. Can't stress it enough. Again, it comes on Fox Tuesday nights at 9 p.m. And I'm just excited because I've been waiting on something to get my YouTube page started back out like what to talk about because it's a lot of people reviewing a lot of shows that I like and I watch them all because I just like to see if people catch what I catch so if you guys catch this video tell me some things that you noticed from episode one like go back I swear again I'm in in my salon now so of course I probably watched the episode like three or four times I was gonna watch it again today but somebody done convinced me to watch squid games I'm going to give it a good try. I will say I didn't really pay attention because, again, I had this show on my mind. But if there's other things that you notice um, from the episode, let me know. But off rip, Morris Chestnut's wife is giving her a hard time. Um, Yaya uh, goes to a party shortly after arriving into the town. She gets invited to a party and she is like ready to jump into um business with these people she's ready to get her her feet wet in the water in their pond and kind of figure out what's going on so she's applied for a incubator um position or an award or some type of scholarship for her business through a company that's owned by this uh rich black predominant um family and Oak Bluffs, the Franklins, and she wants to be in their incubator program. And so they're, you know, trying to tell her how she goes about it. Of course, it's not what you know, it's who you know, and all those different um, uh, parameters and challenges that they put out to make her business harder. But again, I said, Yaya is resilient. She is persistent and she's going to keep trying by any means necessary to penetrate this group because she really wants to get her brand out there she really wants to get her business out there and then on top of that again she's trying to restore her family name and um you know just start a good life for her and her daughter um and so this is going to be one of those shows where it builds you watch the second episode and something that happened the episode before is going to continue to build and start to unfold um i believe also with her daughter, Nikki, um, Nikki went to the party with her mom and then her auntie Piggy, baby, that's Quincy mama from Love and Basketball. They all go to the party together. And, you know, like I said, Yaya and Lance kind of glance at each other and they already, already have this instant chemistry. Um, the daughter, Nikki, goes to the bar and kind of runs into the son and the daughter of Moore Chestnut and his wife, Leah. The son is like giving her googly eyes, but the daughter is like, girl. So they kind of confused me at first because I didn't know they were brother and sister. So hopefully y'all catch that tea as well. Um, at first, I thought they were, you know, girlfriend and boyfriend. And maybe she was like, oh, he trying to look at her or something. But it's actually sister and brother. But immediately, the daughter, I think her name is Lauren immediately gives Nikki this stank attitude, don't want to be bothered with her, but she gets invited to a party with the children. Now, here it is, Yaya's trying to get introduced into this society, but as is the daughter, being new into a town, being a teenage girl, you know, maybe in between 16 to 18, and she's trying to um, also get to know new people in this new town that they've moved to, so that struggle of being a teen and being a new, being a new girl in town, essentially, 
but she can hold her own you know shalonda nikki felder here so you know i i kind of agree with the nikki's but she can hold her own so the daughter leah's daughter and morris chestnut's daughter they she's being kind of you know a little mean to her but she can hold her own and sis throwing her jabs back at her to let her know oh i'm not the one loved it loved every minute minute of it because again sometimes you have to let the people know she's not the one <laughs> So it was just, it was funny, you know, the, the back and forth banter between them. And so the friend's like, I see you, new girl. So we having a party tomorrow. Are you coming? No, I don't want to come. And she was just like, oh, so we'll see you tomorrow. And, you know, they going to a whole boat party, this, that, and the other. Well, girl, while at the boat party, you know, it's a little drinking going on. The friend to Lauren and the brother slips a phone in Nikki's purse. And next thing you know, she's walking through the party. Nikki's walking through the party. She hears like screaming, Taylor, Taylor, Taylor. She runs up to the boat. Um, the same girl, Lauren, that was giving her all this attitude is now up at the boat screaming. A whole mess. Nikki's asking what's going on. Well, apparently the, the, the friend girl has fall, fallen overboard and she's hysterical and you know she can't see her in the water well anyway child the police come the police come and of course nikki tells you know they were out there arguing or something tells what she saw and then um what's her name um lauren is all upset and it's like i don't know what she's talking about she's lying on me since she was just crying but now she's lying so of course the mom's like you're not talking to my daughter um at all so of course y'all y'all's like well you ain't talking to my daughter either they go their separate ways everybody goes home and that was that um as far as the party goes but again that's going to be another story that builds on for episode two um about what happened to the young lady in the water because again they had to rush her to the hospital um but nikki claims you know i mean not nikki but lauren claims that nikki lied on her supposedly um and again nikki just telling what she saw she's the new girl in town mind you she has this phone in her purse she knows nothing about um auntie piggy at this point seems very just here for honoring her sister's last wishes, being there for her niece and her great niece. Auntie Piggy got these beautiful, beautiful dimples and baby, she is that auntie that's just like, yes, child, y'all have a good old time together. So I'm loving Quincy Mama because I feel like I haven't seen her since Love and Basketball, but we probably have, I just don't remember. All I know is when I seen her, I was like, that's Quincy Mama. So, um, so far, her character is kind of like reserved, but she's that auntie that'll get you together, but you can still have fun with her too. Um, I think, well, I, I'm going to say I know because I've already seen the other two episodes, but again, I want to give y'all piece by piece so that you guys get an opportunity to go and watch it as well because my goal here is I want to have like back and forth conversation. I would love to have like a panel or a discussion or something on um, Clubhouse or something like that where we could talk back and forth, but again, you guys can comment down in the comment section section girl let me know what you saw let me know um what's tea what you what you feeling because a lot of these shows sometimes when you watch shows like this before um you kind of have your own feel for um what's going to happen like one of my clients laughs at me but she's just like girl watch it watch the show and i'm watching it but it's like you know your spidey t your spidey senses are tingling and it's telling you that something is going to go down right so that's how i'm feeling like oh girl i already kind of feel this plot so i'm just wondering if others feel it too but like i said it, it it's a really good show i'm excited about it girl the fashions the hair the actors of course the actors the actresses um or what they call the whole cast in general is amazing um so far so good but i'm really enjoying the show but i would i would like to hear you guys' viewpoint so i won't make them too long i try to do like little shorts because it looks like um i can't go live just yet on youtube which is fine so i'll go ahead and pre-record the videos and then post them um and then i'll post them here on youtube and then um, I'll reshare on my Facebook page. But if you guys want to follow me, it's going to be, you can find me on Facebook at Shalonda Nikki Felder. Um, and then on Instagram, you can find me at Styles by Shalonda. It's spelled the right way. S-T-Y-L-E-S. Um, 
by by shalonda s-h-a-l-o-n-d-a but i'll put all of that down in the description below so that you guys can follow me because again i want some open dialogue back and forth so we can um watch this show together okay it looks like right now it's about five episodes i think just to kind of test it out and see how we really dig in it but i hope that you guys dig it so that we can get some more episodes of some um more tv shows with people black and brown people because I love seeing um, different different shows about people who look like me that aren't, you know, um, are playing other roles, dominant roles, prominent roles. So it's really, really good to see. But I hope that you guys enjoy the show and let's chat about it, okay? So down in the comments, I will talk to you guys soon, okay? Bye. <laughs>